you know, it was just a couple bad sequences for us. Uh, one in the second quarter, and then obviously a big stretch in the fourth. We couldn't score the basketball against their 1-3-1. Uh, yeah, it was, it was just a disappointing to, to climb all the way back right there and, and cut it to one, uh, and then see it creep right back to seven or eight. Uh, I thought we lost a little bit of, of rhythm offensively. Uh, too many balls were being taken off the rim by them. Uh, they get out and transition a couple times. It, it changes the whole course of the game. Uh, but credit them. Uh, the thing that made us so good on Tuesday night, adjusting the defenses, really, really hurt us tonight. And uh, I told our guys that uh, you know we're just going to have to you know continually work at this. Uh, it's never too late in the season to learn. Uh, it's never too late in the season to get better. And this was a tough game for us from the very start. Uh, I knew what they were capable of in their home gym. I, I've been here twice to scout it and see it in person. Uh, they have a very, very good team. And we just weren't at our best tonight for 32 minutes. Third quarter, though, Coach, you talk about that big comeback. You're down by 15, and you pulled in one. But talk about the comeback in the third. Well, they started the defensive end. We got a couple fouls. Uh, I think we had three fouls the first couple minutes, and all three of them were because we weren't going to let them get into the lane. So I thought we kind of established ourselves uh, defensively with a little bit more of a physical mentality and uh, kept them off the boards, which was obviously uh, the entire halftime. Uh, it was us just being tougher, more physical, and I think that changed everything. Then you make a few shots, and you get back and have your defense set rather than the ball coming off the rim because they're such a good transition team. The ball goes very quickly from rim to rim at the other end, and uh, the third quarter was just us playing very good basketball. Uh, and our guys had a lot of belief. You know, they knew at halftime they had not played uh, up to what our standard is, and uh, we knew we had to chip away. We didn't expect for it to be that quick. Uh, so we got to give our guys credit there. I just said we really wish we could go back to the beginning of that fourth quarter. Yeah, I thought it was really key, you know, um, that uh, for the most part, on the inside, Scott Leonard did a decent job against Stetman. He didn't know whether he was going right hand or left hand, and he didn't get a whole lot of shots blocked. But when the play that really stood out in, in our eyes somewhat was uh, with you know, Schaefer in the second half, and in the first half, um, Will Bailey stepping up and playing real well. That's a really nice piece to come off the bench. Uh, six six, can shoot it, can shoot it from the perimeter, and just kind of relentless on the boards. I mean, I think that that's uh, that's one piece that the, uh, they they have that we probably didn't when we went to our bench. Uh, you know, they're, they're they got good guards and they got good posts. Uh, you got to kind of pick your poison a little bit. And, uh, I, I worked with that to watch the film. I, I the game was a little bit of a blur. Time to time, it was just a game of runs by both teams. Uh, so, so we'll have to we'll have to evaluate that. Uh, uh, but you, you're right; they, they have some guys step up. You, you can't take anything away from them. Coach, thank you very much for stopping up. Uh, we'll see you on Monday night. All right, thank you. you bet.